Tell me what you want. Every dose. <laughs> Talk about the food. <laughs> it's been a long day when you try and scan him with your license. And just quietly because. It's a long weekend here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Mm. Bathroom in here. Because it's a long weekend, they pump the prices up. And they pump the prices up pretty much everywhere along the coast. So if you are going to come to Australia, know if it's a public holiday in Victoria, because obviously it is packed along the coastline, the Ocean Road, and the hotels, they know it. So they bump their prices up. Do not come during a public holiday would be my tip to yourself. But if you do, be prepared. <laughs> be prepared, yeah. If you're willing to spend the mullah, go all out, do what you do. But by all means, if you want to save some money and you're a backpacker, guaranteed the hotels are going to be through the roof. We're going to chill out. What a boy! Look at this bloke here. Look at this bloke. How good is his stuff? How proud are we of you? That's cute. We've got something like that at home. I think yeah. that's our one at home, boo. but in a bigger version. And How good is his stuff? Oh, look at that. Banger. Salty one. What do you think, boo? Get one now. <laughs> Lowell. <laughs> Never been to hot springs before. These things, you put your wet clothes in, shut this, and it spins dry. Make sure you hydrate. <laughs> One of the things about this place, a lot of your trace minerals that your body needs can be found through this little process. And Sal just went into a cave tunnel and came out of it feeling a bit how you going because the hot water, trace minerals. Um, and make sure you stay hydrated and eat before you come would be my recommendation. Otherwise, boom, blood sugar but, crash, but the heat. But they've got first aid people walking around with um, ice water and like they're really... Would you recommend the place? Oh, yeah. 100%. Get down here. Deep blue, hot springs and hotel. We stayed at the hotel and went straight into these hot springs. Banger. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. It feels really weird. I can't feel that.
He's got no hair, don't worry about him. <laughs> Water bowl. One thing we needed while we were on the road was a bunch of supplements run out and you have a whole stack here chemist warehouse down in Warrnambool so if you're looking for subs this is your place Who doesn't like the reject shop? Like seriously, the reject Sal shop. Sal loves a little shop, shop till you drop. <laughs> come in, get some coloring pencils. She loves drawing, uh, coloring in pens. Loves drawing. <gasps> Look at these. Cute. Enjoy. I just got a massage and it was deep tissue. Little massage here, water lilies. Boo's loving, big smile on her face. What a lily house down here in Waterloo. It was a good way to chillax before we drive the two hours towards the Grand Bins. One thing I will say for those that aren't familiar with Australia is to, especially during summer, if you're going out into bushland, make sure you check the fire reports because there are bushfires here. You can die from them and it does you know obviously it does potentially get dangerous so make sure you check those fire hazards before you're traveling to a particular okay. regional area and have the essentials something you know know what you need to do in that situation because if you don't it could cost you your life um, let people know that you're going into those places. certain areas yeah 100 percent. enjoy stay tuned grand bins here we come Love that strong, accepted, passionate, adorable. These names, how cool is that? I love that. Motivator. That morning turned into a morning of just pampering. Hot springs into an hour and a half massage. How are you feeling? That, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've noticed when we get on holidays, we sort of tend to sleep in a touch longer, and it's not much like seven o'clock versus five o'clock. But the things that you can do in those couple of hours when everyone else is sleeping is unbelievable. Because I get up, and then with time sort of pushes in on it and squeezes in on her, she's doing her hair and getting herself ready, getting dressed going to the gym, trying to get back breakfast, and by the time you get out, you know, you're pushing into your daytime as such, that would be a huge tip to everybody. If you normally get up at five, keep getting up at five, even on holidays, because it does squeeze out your holiday time or your time to yourself. Yeah, the bed's cool, but um, what's cooler, being in a place that you've not explored before, I'd highly recommend you get out and about and explore that whole region while you're there. Otherwise you miss out time-wise on, say there's 10 things that you really wanted to see. There's been times, would you agree, where we've been able to do six of those things because of that missed time. And if we got out earlier, we would have got them all out. That is a tip of advice to yourself. Would you agree with that, Pooh? Yeah, we see a lot of things though. We make the effort. Yeah, we do. But um, definitely you get the 10 rather than the six. Little tip of the day. The Grampians. Yeah, we were. It's pretty hilly this road. <laughs> Coming up and down. We've got airborne before. Uh, you look over here to your right, you'll see some windmills generating some power over in the background there. Who's needing that kind of power? This. <laughs> Have a look. There you go. Look how tall they are. When you're close to them. Yeah, they look massive. You ever played up and told you'll be put in the, <laughs> in the naughty corner? What a name. Love it. Great food. World's best coffee. Everyone claims that. 
hope they do have that. But if you're down this neck of the wood, Glen Thompson, as you head across to the Grampians from Warnable. This little town is nestled in the middle of it all. Little roadhouse. Oh, I might have trifle, Boo. Oh, Boo <laughs> loves that trifle. Right. Loves it. Stop embarrassing me. Oh, this, we just took a quick turn up here. Once upon a time, possibly. Don't know what this used to be, but it shows you once upon a time, these small towns had so much in them going through. Over time, obviously, the city's taken over. Big factories, industrial factories have shut down little bad boys like this. This person here, they're building prefab. Have a look at the back. They've got some little toy houses for someone, maybe kids. Would you run across the top of those and jump across to the other bundle? Is the question. <laughs> Imagine falling down. Question, is that salt or is it just mud that's dried up? What are your thoughts? There's another one over to your left. What are they drying them out for? Is it salt in general? On the edges, you can see it's sort of quite white. I'm not sure, maybe that's what they do out this way. Possibly. Anyone know? Drew, leave a comment below. Let's go. My boo driving. Bo bo. Bo bo bo. I'm a lucky girl. Moiston. Birthplace of Australian football. Whoa. What? Wait a second. So we just came into Moiston and it said, Home of Australian football. So, did AFL star in Moiston is my question. I'm gonna look it up, but do you know the answer? Drop it in the comments below. And if so, also tag your footy club. Let us know who you play for or who you even support. Chat soon, let's go. Little interesting fact, store is where they hold the store gift. All sprinters come down here, they race over a bunch of races and the person who wins it wins the store gift and the prize money. I don't know what it is to be honest but it's a lot of money and it leads into a lot of other good things um, sprint wise for them and sprinters get that opportunity. You get a head start or a handicap uh, and by all means definitely something that yeah, if you're sprinting, get down there and try and make it happen. I think an Aboriginal kid actually won it this year. Oh, don't oh, quote me, that. but I'm pretty sure. And he was unbelievably quick. Paul's Haven holiday units, boo boo. Yeah, boy. Into the gates. How cute are these bad boys? <laughs> look at the ducks in the pond. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that bird. Look at that. Big croc in the middle, I don't know about that. <laughs> if it was real. This cute pool. Oh, it's got a pool. I didn't even realise. Little sun thing swing. Hi. Beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Are you ready? Check in. Let's go. Swimming pool, games room. Beautiful little pond over there. You can go and reflect. They've got a little basketball court here for a mini and good little family hotel, eh, Boo? Oh, yeah. tennis court out the back here with basketball ring. Yeah, because she had How cool. Oh. You want to play tennis? Yeah. Trampoline, toys there. Look, some bikes here. <laughs> I've really thought about <laughs> everything. There's a whole bunch of bikes you can hire or ride around here. Oh, yeah, little roos. There you go. Couple of kangaroos just bouncing off across the road up there. You can see yeah. Joey and his mum. Wow! Hey! The devastation there from these fires. Pretty crazy. Just coming in the store, and they've got a race course here. My sister. Those that don't know, Sky Bogan Huber from my father's side, B O G E N H U B E R, was a famous jockey and recently retired. She was very lucky. She retired um, the same week she retired. She had a fall where, well, she didn't really retire. She actually um, fell off the horse, nearly broke her neck, was in a coma for a period of time. could have died. Now, that same week, to give you an idea how close that was to her dying, two other females fell off the horse the same way. 
and unfortunately didn't make it. So I'm blessed that my sister's still here. And I sort of gave her a bit of a sign for herself um, to move into nursing and off she went. Store gift, we're in a little town of store, handicap sprint race. So you can race Olympians, you can race anybody. But um, it's, I don't know, it looks pretty big. It's got Maccas and all. That Roman house. Oh, restaurant. It's a restaurant. It's a handicap race. You can race Olympians. If you sprint fast enough, but your best time is something called untimed, you, I don't know what it is. It might be a 10 meter head start over 100 meters, 110. I don't even know. Roger Fabry, enter the mix, brother. I'm tipping this is the Yeah, this is the oval because I've actually watched the race. So this oval here on the right hand side, winners. It's an athletics club and they literally do that store gift around this oval. Um, but they also, they do the 400, so I know Kathy Freeman run there, I remember watching that race. But they also do the 100 metres, all the gates, like Royal Gates. Very famous for that sprint race if you're into sprinting. How, how often does it happen? Once a year. And where, what time of year? Mm, no idea. As I said, Robert, Roger Fabry. Who is a good friend and a champion sprint coach? A lot of high performance athletes he's dealt with, and a lot of athletes in general. Is the person to ask that question? Or oh, anyone who knows, drop it in the church. comments below. Look at the church, old school church. Look, wow. look at the one to the left. Yeah, in the back. Go to, what was the go with that? Every town, and they put them next to each other, it was a competition. Like, is that what they used to do? Like, mine's better than yours. I've got a better design. Cute little town. Blink and you'll miss it. Oh, yeah, Richie's. Old, there's a lot of old people here, I'll be wow, honest. Richie's is everywhere. And oh, it's, is that the courthouse? Oh, oh. It is. Wow. Oh, and court's on. Oh, man. Not a happy place, let me tell you. Nope. Here I was thinking, oh, look at this old building. No. It's old. It's Misery. Old field of misery. Is another church. As I said, did they all go in a competition? My church is better than yours. Which Guess church? What well, faith is this one? St. Patrick's Church. Holy Spirit. Catholic. Catholic. The old fire brigade had a tower. So we've just gone past that oval that holds the store gift. I looked it up. 40 grand first prize money. And there is a whole bunch of prizes after that. Even if you come second, it was fairly decent. Actually, I've got it still up. 6,000 for a second. Now, 155,000 in total for that weekend. How good is that? If you love sprinting, get down to the store gift. Even if you're from overseas, book it in 31st of March to the 2nd of April here in store, country Victoria. Probably about two hours out of, uh, I was about to say Sydney, out of Melbourne. Uh, get down, check it out. Central Park, uh, the actual park's in front of me. Central Park store. Come over, take that prize money. You get a handicap if you can prove your race time. And if you can't, I think you'll get a particular handicap. It might be 10 metres. I love 10 metres head start. Let's go. We're visiting J Ward here in Ararat. This might be the actual prison. J Ward Park, the hospital for criminally insane old Ararat. This must be the old jail here. They've got that yeah. little sign. The old jail gates, you come here. Come in, bang, escort truck, you go in here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is your train. Well, that's a cheeky bugger, that's what it is. Bye that bye. is trippy. This is Jao here coming into Ararat. There are two sections to it. One, maybe industries or something of that nature, or minimum security possibly, because of the see-through fence. And over the back, there was a you can see the other fence which you can't see. That's a treatment centre. Riverside Treatment Centre, so, oh yeah, so that is a treatment centre. But obviously they've still got, yeah, you're locked up, I suppose, during that time frame. And over That's the back over there, there is the jail. Bang, thanks for coming. Well, Always me. interesting to have a look, see what it's about and what they're like for those that don't know. Um, have a look, that's the treatment centre, so obviously people aren't running off when they're getting treated in there. And then over but the But why back, do they need to be like... Oh, I'd probably be like... Are part they of, part, part of the, of the jail? jail? Yeah, oh, okay. the program's jail. Well, it's so massive. That means yeah. it's... And then over the back, oh, they'd probably be two different jails. 
and over the back is Ararat. I didn't realise it was that big. I thought it was like a little country jar, but by the look of that, it is huge. And I remember something about when we were in Joe and Melbourne, Ararat being something for programs, but also maybe um, the police. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure like it had sections for pedophiles or stuff of that nature, police, um, all that sort of stuff. Aradale. This was a old mental asylum and driving up to it, honestly, you know you see in the movies, you could not get more movie-like if you ever wanted to film a scary movie. That reminds me of the boarding home that I was dropped off to in Bondi at the time, where my father you know, literally left me and I was banging on the window there. But have oh, a look at that. There's ghost tours. There's ghost tours. Yeah. Me at the Heath Street entrance, so that says a lot. And there is tours here, as I said, both for the asylum and ghost tours at night, which would be pretty freaky. It's a scary old place, man. Not my type of place, that's for sure. Look out! Look out! I'm looking at this wall and I'm just thinking, say you got out of your cell at night, could you actually climb the walls of the prison? I'm looking at it. Mm. Let's go, tough. let's go, tough boy. <laughs> Man, you possibly could, you'd have to have a lot of practice. You'd have to train in the yard. And I'm talking like finger grip. You look at it and you think to yourself, Pretty tough, but possible. Very possible. And you'd need decent shoes, <laughs> and you'd have to study the wall and the section that you're going to climb up. Because you see, some of these there's no chance. But then a lot of it, look this. It's a nice little ledge. But then where's your next ledge? <laughs> Come on, crazy boy. <laughs> 1991. That closed. Hello, baby. Until it starts moving. So maybe I've got to start up here. At least they had a window. This big fella is actually buried in our uh, cemetery. Of itself. Not much ventilation in here other than this. This is the width of yourself. Here's my feet. Close. The longest incarceration yeah, in the world. Long incarceration. 71 yeah, years much. incarcerated. Yeah. Bottom found. And the beds. What is it? When you look at something like this, you can understand what gets made in prisons. Have a look at this, holding that, like this, bang. This would go side of your neck, heart, anything. Game over. Like that is one lethal shoot. But it shows you, you know, how scary a prison can be. A wink. Have a look around. Yo, Incarcerated person in the world. 44, shot a 23 year old man. 12 hours ago. Dying at the age of 107. Pretty crazy. Is that his 100th birthday? Just is that in here? In the jail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say oh, wow. it's pork pies about his age. No. 100? He definitely so, realised. He's very full. Like. He was a big man, and the water reckons that we called him Mr. Wallace even then. And see his eyes, that was 106, I think. Wow. There's still something about those eyes, and it's just. You know. Looking at you. Gary Webb. Thanks for the ride. Yeah. Oh, the, yards. the division between each of those yards. Those would be the other two yards, one that way, one in the middle, one here. 
13. Thirteen and brought to jail because he was uncontrollable. Crazy. Three people were hanged here and are buried on the jail grounds. Lad, what are you in for, bruh? How long you got left? Don't, don't stress out, bruh. It'd be right. I'm going home today, but know this. You'll get through this. You'll get through this. On a serious note, what men in their cells really look like when caught, when they're sitting there contemplating their sentence, that is an image, a true capture of many inmates when they're by themselves with their thoughts, their kids, how long they've got left, where they're going in life. Do I amount to anything? And true story that. I'd say hang back in the day. Is it a wait, I think, or something? Is that right? Probably the weights. Executions. This is in a box, pull that out. String them up. He was hanged here. 1883, and probably one of the three that are buried here. My name is Jeffrey Morgan, Henry Morgan. Got hanged here, so no relation, as far as I know. This seems like you like to trip up in the middle of the road. The doctor just got through that lot. That's a formula for to make the hand quicker, isn't it? Three people are hanging this bit of age on there. Submissions had strict rules, Aborigines. They're not allowed to speak their own language or they could marry. Can you look at this? Violent encounters over the possession of land between British colonists and Gunditjmara people in Victoria were known as. Norala Wars. The estimated population of 7,000 pre European contact. There were approximately 80 deaths of settlers. And you have a look at the difference 80, 6,500. This was intentional. This was because you'd done something bad. Mount Patron. Big shout out, Albert Pompey Austin, an Australian sporting legend, first Indigenous man to play senior AFL, playing a game for Geelong in 1872. Look here, prisoner that was here, dug his way out here, knew the cell was empty next door, came out of that cell, out of the open cell here, out of the open cell, jam some toilet paper in this, and then got up the top there, and you can see that fiddle. Oh, there. Climbed out on the roof. It's out into the exercise yard. Oh, oh the women and children are the top cells on your right, so there were no women here. Yeah. Tower there. That was new. They built that. Cost a hundred grand to build. Sleep here for the night. Sure, they'd have six or seven in here. There's your toilet. That would have been beautiful. <laughs> that looks comfy as. I have a look at the door. Yeah, you can see guys working there. Uh, three prisoners escaped over here one stage. Show you something insane. Obviously a lot of the mentally insane were here. Like he used to sit here and just drag his hands along here apparently constantly. Far out man. To do that on a wall like this, mate, his hands would have been torn up. You know, they put their names on the wall, stuff like that. There was a picture here, here it is of the face. This is the length of the yard. 
100 metres long by 50. See, just getting the last warmth out of the day. Very good on the back. That's brilliant. So just uh, lean here. Oh, it's good on the back. It's quite the right spot. Three that were hanged here. How's everyone feeling? One. Get two, up that tower. We're three. Go outside now. Get down. Oh, look at that. We just finished up a little tour of Jay Ward, the old Ararat prison. What are your thoughts? Was it cool? Yeah, really cool. And um, the guide, he was amazing. He knew a lot. And, Absolutely. Uh, the people that were in there were different kinds, different characters. But I mean, it's not a happy thing. Like, it's just learning more about where we were back in those days, you know, how we thought. We didn't Absolutely. know. Like, a lot of it was the unknown, and we just thought they were all crazy. I mean, there was, a, there was and the most daring bit, or the most I found disgusting, was that there, there was children in there from crazy the age of 12. Crazy, young kids with adults, yeah. sexual predators. Yeah. It was just And they could have just insane. had, crazy. Like, epilepsy or something very misdiagnosed yeah. and yeah a lot of what's not normal but like people just get locked up for killing at a younger age in yeah, this day and age they someone, would have been put in the this actual jail there's someone but, actually still there and and that person one of the people that were put in here at a young age the youngest prisoner ever 13 yeah. he's still in prison in victoria the prison i actually got out of in a lot and um, and he's about 70 now. He's about 70. Imagine he doesn't want to get out. He's been in there since he was 13. That's just crazy. And the diagnosis coming from what? From something that people in general might have thought um, was being crazy or, or something of that nature. Sometimes it's totally different. But we're going to leave you on that. We're heading to the lake house. We'll see you there. Driving past and I saw Ned Kelly. How good is this? No way, is that the original? A replica of what he wore. Pretty insane. Would have been heavy as. Pretty crazy. Eagle, my totem. What an unbelievable gallery. If you're down here in Creswick, get down, check out this gallery. Look at the eagle, the wingspan of an eagle. Beautiful. Like we were driving past and I had to do a U-turn and come back. Certificate of Authenticity. Ned Kelly's replica. Pretty crazy. Look at this, big horse. Huge horse. Eagle next to it. Oh, look at that. You're looking for something different for your home? My advice to yourself is get down here, check out this gallery. Number 1 to 38, Albert Street, Creswick, Victoria. Stunning. Just arrived here at the lake house and look what number we've got. Tell me that's not a sign. Come on now. Hello. Beautiful. You are beautiful, you know that. Have a look. We're going to take you through here. See this cupboard? A little surprise. Have a look in here and how beautiful that is. So you know both of us in the shower at the same time. A lot of the, the, the smell, I can't capture that on film as such. But the detail, the aromatherapy, there's, it's a spa. It's an actual spa. The floor's warm, the towels are warm. It's just an experience. They've done everything they possibly can. There's your control center for the floor and towels. Um, have a look, like just the detail in some of this stuff. 
lake house down at Darsford, um, in Darsford, Hepburn Springs, 23. Number 23, guess who's number 23? <laughs> MJ. <laughs> I love it, MJ. Coffee machine standard. Good thing about here, which we found out, is our mini bar is totally free. So whatever is in this fridge, apparently, all that stuff is ours. Um, you can get that free. Well, Sal's about to crack one of those and pour one of those. Um, little TV, which we're not too fussed about because we're not really in that sort of space and place. Your yeah, little fongsies. Beach towels. Beach towels. I'm going to show you that really quickly in a sec. It is a beautiful space. Look how they've decked this out. I know these things because I went to buy these. They are mint. One thing that is magical to me for those that follow me you know that this represents my brother the lake house does for mate that is something i wouldn't mind taking home and putting in our house boot um, <laughs> how long do you reckon that would last boo but if it was with finn not long have a look beautiful fittings beautiful settings um have a look at our window and the room we've got absolutely magical um, loving that red wine we're about to have together but mate, by all means um, I'll dive out here and show you what that looks out like. infinity pool down by the water lakes down here beautiful we're gonna go for treatment we're in one of these but up this side this is where we're finishing up our Great Ocean Road <laughs> slash Warnable slash Grampians Dalesford Hepburn Springs tour. Sal said that we should have booked two days. Guess what, Sal? She doesn't know that we're booked in for a week. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but what we will do, now she's seen it and now you know what it's like. And the bathhouse is the spa treatments here. They've got these spa treatments here. This region is known for all this sort of stuff. Not just this hotel, this whole region, Hepburn Springs and Dalesford. If you haven't heard of it and you want to take your missus somewhere, um, it is a probably a partner thing more so than a family thing where you can get in and yeah, these treatments, there's different types of treatments within this. Um, this is a treetop. Little, they got a little treetop type cubby house thing with a spa in it. We're going to do that experience with the massage. But you, you look at these, there's a whole heap of these that you can go through. Um, this is one of those places, it's a bit exy for those that might not be in that space. Um, but here's what it goes for. If you do want to spend the money, it's more for anniversaries, weddings. Love that. Girls group, you know, you put your money in. Wouldn't mind doing this one. Um, you can see here white clay and herbal uh, body ritual. That's, you get yourself wrapped in some clay and um, wrapped up like a fish Lush. about to be cooked. Um, grounding salt and clay rituals. So you got a whole heap of different uh, types of uh, treatments. I definitely wouldn't mind this, the holistic uh, age-defying facial. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to see how we can go booking these in. We're going to walk back down the reception. But what do you think, Boo? To finish off, did I choose well? You sure did. I'm like very comfortable right now. Happy days. <laughs> we are about to bounce. Go and get the bags. And we'll show you dinner tonight and what that's like. Chat soon. Just finished and heading back to our room. Um, what an experience. It's something that you have to experience, that's for sure.